This is the Robotic Claw Mark II available from our website proto-pick.co.uk with part number 11524. This is a replacement to the original Robotic Claw and it's a, a bit beefier and a bit nicer, a bit more robust. This is everything that you get in the, the pack here. Uh, you get the Robotic Claw assembly, an M3x20 screw, an M3, uh, two M3x8 screws, a couple of M3 nuts, little gear cog there, 15mm spacer and the spring in these two plates make up the clutch assembly we thought we'd disassemble that just to show you how it goes together because they can sometimes come apart, they're just held together by a magnet so they sometimes come apart in the post but they're really easy to go together one thing that you don't get included in the kit and you will need to make it work is a servo the suggested servo is what we call the medium servo on our store it's got the part number 10333 uh, and there's a suggestion that that servo doesn't fit this kit but I can assure you it really does and it's uh, easy to sort of prove it if you flick these uh, plates over you can see one of them's keyed to accept the servo one of them's keyed to accept this gear if you just take this one and place it down on a flat surface and just put this uh, the servo in waggle it about until you feel the teeth engage and just give it a push it doesn't even take much to, to give it a push so yeah it fit, fits in there nicely uh, to assemble the clutch all you need to do is take this spring, and it's a bit, bit tricky, you need about 15 fingers uh, but the spring just goes into that recess there and then just line it up so the two magnets come together and then the magnets are clasped together and it all holds nice and into place now that will just sit there, held on its own, held by the magnets and as long as you don't bunt it off the, the bench you, you should be fine uh, so one of the tricky things about getting this servo to fit onto the frame is that sometimes, if I just hold it like that, you can see that that bracket there is at a nice sort of 90 degree angle, if not a wee bit more than 90 degrees. But sometimes these come and they've been pushed down a little bit. You know, just they're, they're supplied in packets and sometimes it's fairly soft metal, so sometimes that gets pushed down. You need to make sure that that's at a nice 90 degree bracket, that angle, uh, otherwise this servo won't clear the, that screw just there. So I'll just go ahead and place this on and it just goes in there like that and then you just secure it with the two M3 screws and the two nuts. So I'll try and do that without getting my fingers in the way. The best thing I find is to use a pair of those pliers just to hold the nut. Now when you're assembling this, you need a bit of play in the servo assembly, so don't over tighten these screws just yet. I can just hold that one on there like that. Like I say, just sort of hold it in place, but you can still waggle it around because you've got some things to match up over here. So what we want to do now is we're going to try and match the movement of the servo to the movement of the, the throb legs, I call them. Uh, and we've got this really nice little servo tester here. This is also available in our store. If you just do a search on servo tester, it's uh, really inexpensive. It just takes a 5 volt input and it's got a few different modes. Uh, you can, uh, In fact, I'll just plug it in and, and show you it working. Just plug it in there. It takes 5 volts in and you can power up to three servos at uh, one or it's got uh, nine little pins in the end there you just plug the servos in and if you power it up you can see it's got three modes at the moment I'm on manual so as I turn this knob the servo, servo moves I can also move it to neutral and if I press that button the servo moves to its neutral position its middle position and if I press it into auto what the servo does is it just drives back and forward all the time so it's a great way to check out the functionality of your servo but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, set the servo up so that when I mesh these two gear cogs together uh, the one extreme of movement matches servo, uh, frogs closed and the other extreme of movement matches frogs open. So if I try and work that out, so I think that there is fully open and that there is fully closed. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it up to fully closed and the servo's fully closed. So just for safety, I'm going to power that down. Uh, and now I'm going to take this gear and I'm just going to try to drop it in there. And then because we've got a little bit of movement uh, on the, the servo, because I haven't tightened it up yet, it just slots in nicely, slots right into that key and that clutch plate. 
Then we take the 15 mm spacer, drop that in, you should feel that just sort of bedding down. And then take the 20 mm screw. When I screw all this together, the screw should kind of go flush to the 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 gear cog that I've put in there. That's it all nicely uh, meshed together. So what I'll do is I'll just power up this servo tester again. And what I've got is uh, the legs closed at the moment, and then I can open them. Closed and open, closed and open. You can actually see that it actually it grabs stuff pretty well. I quite like the, the, the new frog legs. I like them much better than the old ones. They're, they're a much better build quality. Uh, the other thing that they've got is a couple of standoffs there. And these standoffs have got M3 threads in them. So what you can do is you can use these standoffs uh, to, to screw in an extra bracket and then you've got the, the, the robotic claw secured to a, a bigger robot project or secured to a, a workpiece. Uh, pretty cool little kit and it's available from our website. So thanks for that.